This is the week that I tried Pamela Rife's quarantine workout plan to get these sick abs that I totally did not draw on with makeup. I stumble, I fall, I eat shit, but in the end, I persevere. Sunshine or rain, Blair Walnuts tries it all. I also bought her cookbook and her spices that she uses, so I know what the inside of Pamela Rife's mouth tastes like. Don't be jealous, boys. Just subscribe if you're mad. I know you guys are thinking, B, your body looks fine. Why do you want a six pack? Well, guys, I don't want to get exposed on that influencers exposed Instagram where they show our real bodies and our real faces and our real noses. I'm just trying to be real with you now. So before we did any working out, I had to start with breakfast. And you guys know that I would pick the absolute weirdest thing from the cookbook to start with, sweet eggs. People are like, oh, don't wear band tees if you don't even know who's in the band. I know Ozzy Osbourne is in Kiss, okay? I gracefully circumcised the banana, both frontwards and backwards, and I got started with the recipe. Now, it just requires eggs, bananas, and some coconut cream, which I so deliciously slopped in there. I mean, if this does not turn your appetite on, I don't know what will. I slapped it on the pan without putting any grease on there, and I just prayed. I sent a th my thoughts and prayers to these egg, banana, sweet scramble things because that's what Congress tells me to do. So I then proceeded to slop on the bananas to the dirty pan because don't kid yourself, you would do the same thing if you're cooking alone, especially during a quarantine. Are any of you even brushing your teeth? Then I covered up the eggs with a load of things to make them not taste like eggs at all, like almonds, nut butter that I so gracefully spread, and coconut chips. Now you completely forget you're eating eggs, especially when you top it with the fried up delicious banana, and then you have to waste three fourths of a pear because you only add one fourth of a pear to this dish, so I hope you have someone at home that would like three fourths of a pair. If you're stuck at home during a quarantine and have lots of extra time, I would certainly recommend these. Speaking of quarantine. Are you also stuck at home during this quarantine? Are you nervous to go to the pharmacy? Well, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Simple Health. Simple Health is an amazing company that can help you and give you free or really affordable birth control and access to a real doctor. All you have to do is click the link down below and use the code Blair Wanis. From there, you fill out a little form and a real doctor reviews your information and recommend a product that's right for you. They not only have birth control pills, but they also have the patch and the ring. So whatever you need, they can ship it to your door for absolutely free. So many of you guys have messaged me and told me how much Simple Health has really helped you. So I'm so thankful. If you do want to try it out and get free birth control and you need to talk to a doctor, please check them out. Thank you Simple Health for sponsoring today's video. So I have to start workout day one. Got my outfit prepped and I've got my hairy legs here that apparently I haven't shaved all winter. <laughs> I just saw them and I was like, hi. <laughs> hi hair, how are ya? <laughs> So I started her workout and I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna be a hater. I'm gonna say something very mean. Her workouts are really good. Her workouts are great, but the copyright free music in the background cannot get it. So what I do is I usually mute her and I just keep looking over every two seconds and checking on it. And then I put on my favorite songs, which are TikTok songs playlist on YouTube. I'll link it down below if you're like looking for free, good music. <laughs> so these workouts are completely free. And if you follow Pamela on Instagram, she'll give you like the guide on what to do every single day. It's about 30 or 45 minutes depending on your skill level i am in the beginner section and i can only do 30 minutes because otherwise i fall asleep but lucky for you this challenge is still going on so if you do want to do it with me every day i will be posting it on my instagram story if you want to follow me there and stay motivated a really big tip i have for anyone trying to work out from home is like i know it's really easy to give up and just lay on the couch and go on your phone and like do whatever is to film yourself if you film yourself and tell yourself you're going to post it on your instagram story and other people are going to see it oh you will see your body snap to shape girl it will start doing things you never thought it could do it will back it up it will do crunches it will do push-ups like if it, if you know you're being filmed oh my god i promise you you work out so much better if you do film yourself tag me on instagram i want to see it so bad like let me see like the difference between your workout some of you may be looking at this and being like no b i will not work out i will never work out and my answer to that is okay fine just don't eat junk food then because if you don't want to work out you don't have to working out only burns like 10 percent of your daily calorie needs so maybe just don't eat that 10% shave off that chocolate you were gonna eat and that coke and there you go I realize now you're staring at my roots and you're thinking why would I take any advice from someone who lets their hair get that bad well my friends we're under quarantine so not only is my hair this bad but so are my nails my eyelashes
issues, my butthole bleaching, it is all going downhill. Here's a nice video of the sunset to remind you of the outside and let's start with day two. Day two, I pretty much procrastinated until my much prettier twin came over and forced me to do the workout with her. Vibe check, if you wanna turn the lights off and turn fairy lights on instead, it'll give you such a better mood to your workout. Instead of feeling like you're in the gym, you'll feel like you're in a nightclub. But unfortunately, still no one wants to do vodka shots without any chasers with my Eastern European this. <laughs> We're making dinner. <laughs> These are my best friends. They're ready for dinner. I'm cooking it. <laughs> look at, please look at them. This is this is my family. Where's my dinner? <laughs> Give me dinner. <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> Okay, you guys are getting chicken bowls. So from the book today, we're making the chicken teriyaki bowls. So these are the chicken teriyaki bowls we're making, um, except I couldn't find pickled ginger in this country or this, and we're quarantined, so I didn't want to go to too many places. I only went to one shop to get avocados and rice, so we're gonna make this right now. So these are the ingredients for the turkey chicken that I could get in Eastern Europe. I just wanted to personally send hate mail to these avocados that have immigrated to this country because they are soggy and overripe while still being hard and slimy. Reminds me of Onision's junk. <clears throat> I weighed out and started boiling the brown rice and you guys can't tell but it takes exponentially longer to cook than white rice but they say if it's good it won't come easy and if it's easy it won't be good or whatever the fuck princess diary said back in 2012 after 72 years after we have finally found the cure to the virus and my foot warts it was finally time to plate the teriyaki chicken dish I won't lie this is literally her best dish in the entire book my only saltiness comes from her saying not to use store-bought teriyaki sauce like Pam only three of us here care enough about our health to make teriyaki sauce from scratch the rest of us are too busy scrolling on our phones and trying to look for a slight glimmer of hope in this world and a tiny tiny minuscule not even funny joke to pull us out of a depressive episode thank you tiktok this is how the meal ended up looking and to be quite honest with you mine was on the left and that was 750 calories so it was quite a lot of calories for not a lot of volume of food but we'll talk about calories later Okay, so I'm just doing an aesthetic shot of the spices for the video, but I just noticed my painting that I did today that I was just trying to learn coloring and shadows and shades. This is not my own original idea. I'll put the real artist right here and link her down below. I was just trying to learn like different shadows of colors and like nose and stuff. And as you can see, I like drew it really bad. But if you want to see this whole video on how to make money from home, it's going to be up Thursday because I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Woo! Okay, the spices. So these are the spices that Pamela uses. She mentions these a lot in her different videos in her cookbooks they're german um so they open terribly obviously <laughs> but other than that they're really delicious my favorite one is bowl topping you can put it on absolutely any bland dish like if you're foreign and your girlfriend's american and she thinks that salt and pepper is good enough for chicken bring this to her house and just put it on top it's got sesame seeds and dried tomatoes it's absolutely wonderful one i don't really recommend i don't know if it's this one or the other yellow one i have but one of these is supposed to be a german christmas cookie i thought it was sugar cookie it's not it's like ginger cookie not even gingerbread but like ginger snap cookie so it's super bitter i don't know if it's this one or if this one is banana bread i can't read german so there is also this berry yogurt one none of this is sponsored obviously this one tastes like if you don't have dried up berries and you need them for like your oatmeal or like a smoothie or something this works and then the avocado topping is really good too it's my tongue explode in a good way like this <laughs> This is another one of Pamela's recipes. I spent the entire week eating out her cookbook, if you couldn't already tell. This one has buckwheat and my Eastern European ass is very familiar with that. I then proceeded to do the workout and I think this is where I hit the wall. It got boring. Like maybe I wasn't feeling my outfit or I wasn't feeling the moves or maybe my stomach was just too full from eating, but I did not vibe this workout and I don't know why. I hope you guys end up doing these workouts with me and follow me on Instagram so we could do them together and I can stop pumping the air by myself and maybe it'll be more entertaining if we all send each other videos. We did some TikTok dances and after that it was off to my favorite day of the week aka rest day you want it i got it i see it i lay down and i fall asleep <laughs> This is the day that I thought I would show you what's up with her famous cookbook and give you all the juicy and dirty secrets. So first of all, the big secret in here, all the photos of her in this are absolutely flame, fire, perfection. The knowledge in here, it's a little boring. Like, I understand it. I respect it. But like, not all of us want to eat fruits and vegetables and a little meat all the time. My only two complaints of this book is that everything in this cookbook is slightly sweet. Even the supposedly savory items like salad and eggs, they're sweet versions of them. And also, can we please stop putting beans and brownies okay i'm tired of it just stop putting 
beans and my brownies. Like, let me eat my damn brownie in peace and not have to fart my brains out after. Day five, and I thought I would give you guys a cool scenic view today because I grew up in a desert, so I haven't really seen a lot of snow, so I thought it would be really beautiful if you got to look at the snow instead of me. But while I was editing this, I realized you could see my trash bags outside, and apparently I've learned nothing from my zero waste video, so apologies to the subscribers. I love you. Sorry. Now, while I'm doing this workout, let's talk about calories. So Pam recently did a Instagram story where she shared how many calories she typically eats in a day. And she said it's between 2000 and 2200. And I highly respect my queen for saying she eats that many and for actually eating that many. And instead of limiting her calories, she ups her exercise. Pam does, however, work out for an hour or two every single day. She like did a calculation to see how many days of the year she worked out. And it was like 97% of the days of the year she worked out. So keep that in mind day six there was also snow and I think the snow had gone to my head it kind of looked like all my dandruff that I've been accumulating and I decided to do the workout outside in the snow which was a complete disaster but nothing short of what you expect from a walnut I also made some tiktoks so if you are not following me there you should before I uh cry Finally, these are the results. I know you guys have been waiting ages for this. I always wear the same clothes in the before and after shots, and this is what my stomach looked like. I think it looked a tiny bit better, although, I mean, it's only been a week, so like not noticeably better. I also got really close to show you guys I had not drawn on my abs today, which I usually do, and I know a lot of people do. Ashley actually admitted it in the Tana um, MTV no filter episode, so I like, I highly appreciate that people are like, finally messing up to it, and it's not just me, and I don't feel lonely, and like, I'm crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, bye.